Fearless Leader, a Gymnasty report. Wait a minute. That's not a picture of Max. That's not even my pretty, pretty picture. You know why? Because we're in Waterville, Kansas, and that's a picture on the wall of the Weaver Hotel in room 8 where Dave stayed. It's got a name, but eh, what's in a name? You know, all the rooms here have names. And they only have 10 rooms. Who'd have thunk it? Oh well. Guess what? There are no mooses in the Weaver Hotel. <laughs> oh well. Well, since we're in Waterville, we're not going to do news from Carson's Gardens, although we do have a couple of things to report. Unfortunately, one is a little tragic, and the other is just downright sad. Aww. Well, our friend Pam Agent Pam, our communications expert. Well, she had a stroke and is in the hospital at Brian West. Now, she would appreciate all your prayers and everything. She, uh, she's recovering. It wasn't a real bad stroke, but uh, yeah, it was still a stroke. All right. Now, the other news is really sad. And we're not quite sure how to put this, but we have a friend. And her sister, well, her sister was real sick. And she was on life support and in a lot of pain. And, well, they finally decided to end her pain. Now, we want to tell our friend that grieve. Go ahead and cry. It's okay. It's natural to grieve. But remember that your sister's no longer in pain. And that pain is not the tearing out from the earth. Pain does not, you know, death does not come with a bang. It comes with a whimper. And in these cases, it's greeted as a good friend and a good thing. Remember the good times you had with her and keep her spirit alive in your heart and she'll never die. At least not to you. Other than that, now for some good news. Now, it's been 50 years since Woodstock. You know, that sort of thing. Alright? Now, a lot of people can say they went to Woodstock. But, none of those people I bet can say they went to Squirrel Jam, and we went to Squirrel Jam, and here's some footage, you know, we're not, we, we have like a, you know, really cheap, cheap, uh, phone, and we can't record very much, so we had to cut it up in a little bitty pieces, so it's gonna be a little jumbled, alright, but here it is.
Come on, a lot of fun. Yeah, was we gotta listen to music, and Dave's got the weekend off after working 12 days in a row. And then he's gonna go back Monday, and he's gonna start the whole thing again. <laughs> I think Dave's crazy. <laughs> but he talks to a puppet, so what can you say? <laughs> Alright. Well... Well, Dave's really enjoying himself, and I'm enjoying myself, too. And this is a really great place, the Weaver Hotel. It's full of antiques and great art and great history. You know, it was you know, opened in 1902 and has been a hotel all this time, over a hundred years. Ooh, that's a long time. And Dave's had a lot of fun on the two days off. But unfortunately, he's got to go back to work Monday. Oh, well. As far as the channel's concerned, we're sorry for being so late. But, you know, it takes time to go to Squirrel Jam. And we were, we were just thinking that, you know, Squirrel Jam would not taste good on toast. <laughs> well... We love and miss you, fearless leader. Agent Maxine, out.